Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to the Mario Party 3 replay. Today we're going to be taking on Deep Bloober Sea, and no, I am not saying that incorrectly. Uh, the name of this board is, in fact, Deep Bloober Sea, as you can see right here. Um, this is because bloopers were not always called bloopers. They were actually called bloobers in the old days. I think they just changed it because bloopers sounded more natural, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they were definitely called bloopers back in the day. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. As you can see, I am a another Mario Party newcomer for this board. I am Daisy. I almost said Daisy Kong, which definitely not a member of the Kong family. Uh, but we do have Donkey Kong here. We also have Yoshi and Luigi, basically... Uh, this is basically the four people who didn't get to go in chilly waters, so I decided to uh, bring them here. So they're going to uh, give it their best and see who can become the superstar in the briny deep of Deep Bluebird Sea. Uh, so the first star is going to be right there. I'm going to go ahead and look at the map when it's my turn, but first we have uh, a couple of other turns to get through first. Also, it is worth mentioning that uh, something I actually do really like about Mario Party 3 uh, compared to Mario Party 2 is uh, the start menu options. They actually stay the same uh, based on what you had them previously. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about changing these every single time like you had to in the original Mario Party or Mario Party 2. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see what happens in this board. Once again, I'll look at it when it's my turn. We're right away from the get-go, messing with Bowser. Ten coins for Bowser. Well, at least it's DK and not me. Sucks to be you, DK. Sucks to be you. Maybe DK is going to be the tragic character of this board. Although Mario didn't do too badly despite being... Well, I think he still got last place, though, so... <laughs> Maybe he did, but regardless, uh, DK not having the greatest start is basically what I'm getting at there. So Luigi's going to be following this path forward. Uh, don't think he's going to buy... Oh, he is going to buy an item. Man... A lot of people kind of starting out with uh, no coins. I guess Luigi will get three right here, but... Everyone wants to spend, spend, spend. You know, maybe there's nothing wrong with that. Looks like Yoshi is going to be getting an item as well. That's so mean, because I feel like if I would say take all of them, Toad would chastise me for taking all of them and saying I'm greedy, so... No, let's just give Yoshi all the skeleton keys he can carry. Uh, so yeah, this is the basic layout of Deep Blue Bercy. As you can see, it kind of goes in a clockwise fashion until you get to about, like, 9 o'clock, where there is an intersection you have to follow. And we're actually going to take a l quick look at that intersection, because... It's, in my opinion, probably the biggest, like, gimmick of this board. Uh, so you have this intersection, you have these buttons over here. Uh, basically, the shark will ask you to press a button, and uh, after you pick which direction you want to go, um, if you press a certain button, one of the buttons will give you a torpedo. The torpedo will hit you and force you down the other direction instead, while the other three buttons are safe and you continue as normal. Uh, it's kind of very similar to Peach's birthday cake, uh, when you have to plant the seeds and you have to pick the right ones in order to go the direction you want to, otherwise you go to the other one. Uh, that's kind of what this is, but to uh, you know, a bit different extent. You don't necessarily have to go see Bowser, but it could screw you up if you're trying to go down a certain path. And these happening spaces also change which path you're on too, so you have to be kind of careful of those while you're making your way through here. Uh, there's also happening spaces over here. We'll probably see how these play out, but uh, they have something to do with this giant fish and this giant arrow up here. I'm sure we'll see them at some point in this board, though, so no worries. So it looks like everyone is going to be paying the bank today. Looks like I'm going to actually start with the most coins, but we have a mini game to play first, and we have Picking Panic. 
So grab the cherries from Woody, then pass them to your partner to put it in the baskets. A, press to grab cherries, and A, to release the cherries. Uh, the distance the cherries fly depends on their size. Try to match your timing to their size. So yeah, a little bit of timing, a little bit of coordination. That's normally how two-player minigames work, or two versus two, rather. Whee! I actually like being the uh, person on the left. The person that collects the berries to start. Especially when I'm with teammates who don't suck. Although I have to say, the other team's not doing too shabby. Luigi! Oh my god, don't mess this up for me. <laughs> okay, good, he didn't. He... <laughs> I threw a three at him and he was still carrying a two, so he missed out on three. I guess you could optimize that a bit more by, like, holding on to the three if uh, your partner still has something. But, uh... Yeah, that's basically how that game works. It's a pretty solid minigame. Probably one of the better two versus two. It's not the best one, though. We haven't played the best two versus two minigame. And I eagerly await the day for when we do. So it looks like Mario, or Luigi, not Mario. Luigi Mario, if you want to go by his full name from the Mario Bros. movie. Which is not canon. <laughs> Definitely not. Goombas are not creepy, like, lizard dinosaur things. And here we got Winner's Wheel. Uh, fun fact with this minigame. This is the only minigame that we did not actually get to see in the original Mario Party 3 project. Because, uh, we just didn't get it. It's a very simple minigame. All you do is press a button and get whatever item the cursor lands on. But I always found it funny that of all the minigames there are in Mario Party 3, and there are a lot, there are a lot of minigames, this is the only one we didn't see. Winner's Wheel, we did not see at all. And I just find that very, very strange. Okay, so there we go. Yoshi's going to use up his skeleton keys because he does not need three of them. You never need three skeleton keys. One's okay, but... <laughs> three's pushing it a bit. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you're just given a skeleton key. From a hidden block. But, uh... You really only need one. They are good to have, though. You just need one. And no, I'm not hinting at anything. Uh, let's see. Four lands on Bowser over here. I believe that's an item. No, not no, not quite. We'll go by the item shop though. Let's see what Baby Bowser has. Looks like he has he has a Boo Bell, which is nice. I don't think I'm actually gonna buy anything though. Um, yeah, let's not let's not bother with it yet. There's another item shop later on in the board. Maybe we can check something there. Assuming we get to it, that'll largely depend on the uh, um, the dice rolls and the happening spaces and all that stuff. Also, Bounce and Trounce. We saw this last time. These days, whenever I see the these bouncing ball things, I always think of that unfortunate South Park. <laughs> ah! Man, Yoshi was playing pretty aggressively there. I gotta give him credit. He, uh... He pulled it out when he needed to. He made the plays. Okay, so what's next? Let's see, who, who's the winner of the... It was me and Luigi for the first game, so yeah. Um, okay, there you go. There you go. DK was greedy right there. He asked for a magic lamp, and then Toad was like, nope. <laughs> 
Usually, like, for questions like that, you don't want to say the obvious answer, because, yeah, um... In Mario Party, you're trying to win, so obviously, being greedy is important. But Toad's not a very greedy soul, so he doesn't always like those kinds of answers. Honestly, because of that, it's kind of worse to get Toad, and it's better to get Bowser Jr., or Koopa... Ba Baby Bowser, whatever the hell his name is. Um, just because with Baby Bowser, you can kind of... You'll, you'll be guaranteed an item. He doesn't care about greed as much. Stop. Although I think Toad in general can give you better items. So, Boo Koopa Toad. Boo Koopa Toad. Boo Koopa Toad. Yoshi was first, I know that. Okay, I got second. I'll take second. But I swear, I feel like I pressed B immediately, but then Yoshi's like, no, I did. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm the one who did that, not you. I also lost a coin because uh, some of the other participants didn't pay their full amount. Looking at you, Luigi. And potentially Donkey Kong. Oh, no, Luigi did. Donkey Kong did. Maybe even Yoshi didn't. I don't know. I didn't see the full amounts there. I think Yoshi did just because he won the minigame, so he had enough coins. But yeah. Okay. Five. I'll take it for now. Pipe Cleaners! I love this game. This, this game's actually pretty nice and it's pretty skillful too. Hit the baby Bowsers with the hammer as they pop out of the pipes on either side of you. Um, up and A and B to swing the hammer upwards, and then A and down or B to swing the hammer downwards. The baby Bowsers will try to fool you. The player who scores the most gets coins. Uh, so yeah, essentially like it's a very skill-based minigame because of just the nature of it. I've already messed a few things up. It's not unwinnable, though, because at the end you have, like, a big opportunity for, like, a lot of points. Don't know if I won, though. There were a couple I missed, especially at the beginning. Uh, 24... Okay, yeah, we got it. Usually against hard computer players, like, 22 to 24 is usually a pretty safe number to get. But yeah, I do I do kind of like that minigame. That minigame's fun. No way Luigi can get the star because of coins. He could try to mess up Yoshi, though, next turn if he... Oh, you know what? Yoshi, uh, Luigi's gonna get the star uh, bank right here. That's gonna help him out. That's actually gonna put Luigi kind of on equal ground with everybody. More so than Donkey Kong, anyway. Yoshi gonna use his other skeleton key because he doesn't need two of them. You really don't need that many skeleton keys at once. You really, really don't. <laughs> okay. Yes! Damn it! <laughs> it's one skeleton key though, so... <laughs> it is what it is. I'll take it for now. Okay, Thwomp Pole. Press the buttons the Thwomps tell you to with good timing to move for move your sled forward. To move forward your sled is what I was trying to say right there. Luigi has to press all three buttons while the team of three only has one button each. Looks like I'm going to be the B button today. 
The B is for beautiful, because I'm Daisy. <laughs> That's what I like to tell myself, though. Not me as Daisy, just, just me in general. Also, you don't want to press your button, like, too early or anything. Or, like, press your button when it doesn't have your button on there. I think Luigi won't... Yeah. See, this game always, like, comes down to the wire for me. It's never, like, one or the other. Or it does seem like it's one or the other, rather. So good for him. Man, there's a six coin difference between one and first and third. I think Yoshi is definitely going to get the star, though. Although, again, Luigi could use his uh, warp block very effectively. Especially if he gets Yoshi and he can grab that star. Okay, Dory Dip. We're taking a dip. A Dory Dip, you could say. This is another very simple item mini game. You ground pound Dory, she grabs whatever item is in front of her at that point, and DK gets a reverse mushroom. Not a bad reward. I mean, I used the reverse mushroom very effectively last time, so it definitely helped me out. And, you know, good for Luigi. Luigi actually played that well. He got his star. He did pretty good. He did a, he did a nice job getting this star under his belt. The big question is, where is the next star going to go? And will I be able to take advantage of it? had a chance for game guy but he decided not to honestly that's probably a point i would have maybe considered going to game guy just because again they could give you some nice coins and oh my god that's where this you lucky dinosaur you so despite having the uh, coin lead uh i do not have a star and i am in third place and Man, I would really love to have that reverse mushroom DK has right now. <laughs> that would be so cool. But alas, I don't. Okay, so no matter what, I'm going to get hit by the torpedo. So I can use that to kind of plan my route and manipulate what space I'm going to land on. So if I go this way... Or, okay, if I go this way, I have five left. One, two, three, four, five blue space if I go this way happening space I think I want to go with the happening space so I need to go north but because the torpedo is gonna fire I want to go south so we're gonna do that get bombed hit this That'll give me a happening star. The blooper is going to pull me down here. And see, that's actually kind of nice, too, because I'm actually pretty close to the star, and I can actually use my skeleton key very effectively to get there. Real in the three, we've already seen this. Um, we're actually the same thing, too, which is interesting. Oh, wait, no, I, no we're not. Never mind. I'm th I was thinking the other way.
Luigi, you asshole! <laughs> That's Luigi's fault. He... He got in my way, and I couldn't get out of the way, so, like, he screwed us over there. He intentionally blocked me right there. And I don't like that. Thankfully, I don't think he's really leading much. So, it is what it is. And that's not going to give him the star anyway, so, well... This could change things up a bit. <laughs> Because battle games, I swear, the battle games have been, they've been real, <laughs> these last few games. Let's hope we don't get like three in the same turn again. Oh, uh, and we get stacked deck, probably one of the worst ones. Uh, use a ground pound to flip the card and find a toad. If you flip over a baby Bowser, you lose. You move, you ground pound, if you flip over a boo, the order of the turns will change, so watch out. Okay. So yeah, this is completely luck-based. There's no way to tell um, if you're going to be correct or not until you obviously make the move. And yeah, it's just, don't get Baby Bowser. If you do, well, sucks to be you. That's pretty much the motto of this game. Uh, there are like, I believe there's like six Toads, two Boos, and four Baby Bowsers, so... You can kind of, like, track your odds as you're going through the game, but, again, it's luck-based. I have a pretty good chance of getting Baby Bowser, so... Okay, never mind. I'm happy with that. Let's get Baby Bowser. Damn it! It's okay, because now these guys can get Baby Bowsers. There's more Baby Bowsers... 50% Baby Bowser, and it's a boo. And watch, this is probably going to put me in first. Oh, well, second. I guess nothing really changed much. Yoshi does go again, though. Gets the other boo. <laughs> this is okay, though. I might go to the back of the line. Ah, nope, still. <laughs> it just kept the order, like, twice. Uh, let's see. Oh my god! This is such bullcrap! So I basically have a... 80% chance to lose, 20% chance to get first. Yeah, there is no way. Like, again, all the good cards basically got picked already. I hate this game. It just... The thing, the thing that, the thing I really hate, and you know, this is not just a problem with this game. This is honestly a problem with any game that has a luck-based element to it in a battle or duel game slot. Because with those game games, you have a lot of coins on the line, and that's what makes it frustrating. Is that you have no control. If you get a luck-based mini game, you have no control. You'll lose your coins more than likely. And look at this! Another battle game! How about that? For the same amount of... Wait, no, I think we, it was only 10 coins. But still... A lot of coins on the line, once again. Thankfully, we don't get a luck-based minigame, but still, another battle game. Run circles around Big Mr. Eye to shrink him down to size. Complete 15 laps to make Mr. Eye vanish completely. So you move, if you bump into a Big Mr. Eye or Potaboo, you'll fall down and lose time, so watch out. So, uh, This game, I don't think is that bad. It's actually kind of fun. This is honestly a game I wish I would have put on my uh, top minigame list for Mario Party 3, like a while back when I made that. Because it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was. I didn't have it on the worst list or anything, but it's kind of one of those games that's like really cool in concept, but I never really liked the controls because of the... N64 analog stick, but it's really just, you just have to get a feel for it, I find, more than anything. Once you get a feel for it, it's really not that bad. I think I'm going to win this. It'll be a little close, but I think I got it. Yeah, we got it. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it because it's a reference to Mario 64, because that's how you kill these enemies in Mario 64. So it's really neat because of that. I like that. 
But yeah, I do win. I am going to get some coins back. I think that's the amount of coins I actually had before I lost them all, so that's kind of neat. Damn merry-go-frickin'-chomp. And of course, I'm going to be basically battling Yoshi for this star here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll get an item at least. Let's hope the item is something good or we get a good minigame or something. And we'll also hope Yoshi rolls low or something. Can you be patient for things you really want? No. <laughs> I can't. Ooh, Bowser mask and a warp block. I can't wait for the Bowser suit to not work out for me again. Because I love when that happens. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Saddle up to a hobby horse and race. Use the care panels in the middle of the track to dash. Yeah, we did this before. Let's hope I don't get screwed over by the frickin the bad carrot panels this time. Damn it! It happened again! It's okay, we still won. Yeah, I don't know what it is with those carrot care panels. Sometimes they just decide to really mess you up. <laughs> this is one of those games where I feel like the best time for this game like the best like world record for rock and raceway there's like no way to beat it at this point because of how precise it has to be because it depends on like when those carrots like come up